to diamond in the rough when a person wants the best of the best to go for the best and in order to get the best you are going to go through some hard times you're going to suffer you're going to be talked about you're going to people will stab you in the back but you should expect these kind of things to happen why because there's a calling on your life there's an anointing on your life there is power on your life so those things shakes you not this is why god wants to put you to the fire he wants to put you to the furnace he wants to make sure that you be you come out of there purified he wants to make sure that he begin to script some things you know there are some things inside of us that god needs to script out there are some things inside of us that god needs to take out there are some things inside of us that that god needs to resurrect he's a resurrecting god he told the devil he said get out of my face i know you've put me through hell and back you've placed the crown of torn over my head so that i can suffer but i know my purpose i came on this earth for a reason and the reason was to resurrect my people to bring them back to the place of no mercy so whatever you do to me put me in the fire i will take up my cross put me in the fire i will carry the lord for my people he had a specific uh, excuse me he had a specific mindset that it was because of you and because of me that he was allowed to come into this world in the form of a human flesh to save you and me. Child of God, hear me and hear me well. The fire was not meant to harm you. <laughs> I found out for myself today that it was because of the fire that I have become the bonafide woman and daughter of God that I am today. I am happy that circumstances had to push me to my knees. Like the three Hebrew brothers, the king thought he was doing them evil. But before he even started with this stuff, he had passed out a decree and this decree was that, and this is how the people in Hollywood are getting killed. They are getting, they are get, they are selling their souls for beauty. They are selling their souls for, for money. They are selling their souls for, let me tell you something. This thing we have is just flesh. It's nothing but flesh. So the view are not saved and you are not a child of God. This is the time because God is shifting. There's a shifting going on in the atmosphere. There's a turnaround going on in the atmosphere. Let me tell you something, child of God. If you are holy and solely rooted and grounded in Christ, everything that the enemy has done to you, to have hindered you, to have stopped you, Whatever it is, he has stolen from you. According to the book of Joel 3.25, the enemy is getting ready to pay you back 100 fold. Why? Because you did not stumble. You stood on the word of God. You stood on the promises of God. When they let you down, you still stood. When they talked about you, you still stood. When they, when they, when they stabbed you in the back, you still stood. You did not give up on God. And God is rewarding his faithful servants in this hour, many in time. He's rewarding you. He's rewarding you. Not because of anything good that you have done, but you did not give up. Many people miss out on their greatest promises, on their greatest miracles, because they give up in the midst of God, trying to show them what they need to do in order for them to possess what they need to possess. God now has positioned you. Just like he has positioned me to take the fire. <laughs> Who glory. Nothing shakes your boat anymore. Nothing moves you like the three Hebrew boys. They said to him, I'll make this very quick because it's a noun word. And who and those people that have been text emailing me, text messaging me, text messaging me, pass it like pass it like hear this word well, 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 well. Because the next word that God is getting ready to birth through me is going to be fire. I feel it in my soul and I feel it in my bone. And I've done this word on podcast. I've done this word on, on YouTube. I've done this word on Breath of Life. I've done this word on every platform that I am at. Why? Because God. God wants his people to know that in this season, it is a shifting. He has positioned you. He's not positioning you. He has positioned you for the fire. 
This is why the fire cannot interrupt what God has, is doing and has done in your life. It can't. The three Hebrew brothers refused to bow down to King Nebuchadnezzar. They refused and they told the king, King, we cannot bow down to your God. We're not going to bow down to your God. Why? Because we serve a great God. The king said, well, if you don't bow down to my God, I'm going to send you into the fiery, fiery furnace. I'm going to send you into the fiery furnace. You think, devil, <laughs> that's when you, when you took a good look at me, you say, ah, I, I'm going to do this one like I did Job. And you think that's going to move us? We've been, God has, has built us up in the realm of the spirit to take every foolishness and, and back and let it backfire in the name of Jesus. God has positioned his daughters. He has positioned his men of God to take whatever it is that they have to take. And it won't shake down. 